Hi, this is Phoenix Genesis. Well, before I show you my um, ice road, I wanted to might as well show you more of the bugs, get that uh, off my plate. Uh, if you look at my previous video, I showed you the minecart and other bug where the minecart just stopped. So now we're going to uh, look at the other bugs. And what I do is I, I don't trust it. So I build in the survival in the ps4 legacy version still and then what i do is and periodically i uh make a copy so i'm on a new fresh version of my survival and then i don't even upload that to bedrock because i just don't trust it so i make a backup of that survival and i also make a creative backup just in case i need to fly around and look at things you know from a different perspective build spots and stuff so i'll have a, also creative backup and then um then i will take the backup and upload that and have a fresh survival so this was fresh i if you see it's 20. i just uploaded this at like five o'clock this morning so i mean i haven't even been playing on it and already it's just full of bugs so anyway i did peek at it to see what bugs were there so that way i could make the video but i really didn't do much but uh, I always back it up to the PlayStation 4 Cloud and on USB sticks, several copies, usually three backups, because uh, it's almost the world's almost five years old. It's going to be five years old in March. I'm going to do a nice world tour for five years, too. So here we are. It takes forever to load. So um, you, uh, on the beginning, too, um, it says it's an error with my Microsoft account. There's 11 total bugs, including the minecart rail. So the minecart rail, the Microsoft account, and my character skin still failed to load, even though they said they fixed that in 2.0 they didn't now another one is uh my uh if you go here i should have uh that's my banners here we are that's my handyman so this is my handyman and i have different colored shulker bo boxes if you put that in the ender chest you really have everything you need at your fingertips no matter where you go and the best thing is if you're not in peaceful mode and you die like you fall in lava uh and you don't have any type of fire protection you die you fall down a hole i mean the creeper blows you up anything can happen i've died in every possible way you don't don't lose what you have everything I even have a loot crate everything's in the ender chest I can put it in the ender chest leave the ender chest there if I die you know no harm no foul so uh, fortunately I have this handyman and I like to have everything color coordinated kind of different colors so I can quickly spot what it is and also labor label the shulker boxes and what I noticed was if the shulker box is in a chest, it, it see right here that one I re dyed and put it back in there. Um, it may it reverted it to the original shulker color, which is absolutely ridiculous. Now, if it's outside of the chest, it, it did keep the same color because I had an extra handyman in a, in a place where, in case I need to grab an extra one, and that one was fine. It was like I noticed it was purple, all the purple ones that were not in a chest, but that's kind of absolutely ridiculous. So, um Anyway, we're going to need the handyman, so let's grab the handy, handy, handyman here. So, uh, anyway, that's another bug. Uh, really annoying, too, especially if it's purple. If it was like a red shulker, it'd be easier because red and yellow were the original flowers of Minecraft. They're everywhere. I could just bone meal them. But, yeah, the purple's more um, kind of a pain. So, of course, that had to be the purple one. So, let's go here. That's another bug. God, there's so many. I'm trying to make sure I cover them all in this video. Uh, and very quickly, I don't want to drag on forever. Okay, so let's go to, um, yeah, another one. We'll just go, um, uh, let's see. Uh, oh, yes, yeah, so, um, out here, unfortunately, if it's, it's not raining, I can't show you this, but I have conduits all over my house. And uh, so basically at any point, I can just kind of dip in the water and get conduit power. So this is another problem with the game is I used to be able to go in here on another bug. So it's like 12 bugs um, or we could just put the conduit, two different conduit issues into one, uh, you know, one uh, claim right here. But see right here, I used to get jump in here. I have a conduit right here. See the conduit? I'm getting absolutely no conduit power right now. Also, when it rains, I get conduit power in the Legacy uh, PlayStation 4 edition and I don't in Bedrock. And that was kind of the whole point that it's kind of dangerous when it's raining and I should be able to go in there. Now, these are conduit stations I built for the house, so I should get conduit power here. Okay, yeah. See, I do get it if I physically go in the water, but I used to be able to, again, this is water right here. It's a separate by glass but it's still the same conduit i should get oh now wait no that's the conduit power from before so it's gonna fade and see i have to get absolutely no conduit power there so that's another bug um let's keep moving on 
So, um, yeah, that's kind of annoying because, you know, I plan the house to have these features and I expect those features to be there. And then, uh, you know, I, I upload and then there's no and those features aren't there. OK, moving along, going in the house. Uh, we're going to go. Yeah, we're going to go. Um, no, we're going to go this way. So um, this is a really one. And I went online and I saw that this has been a bug that's been going on for years with Bedrock. And, of course, Mojang slash Microsoft says it's resolved and they close it. And people are upset because it's not fixed. So you don't close, you know, and, and when someone files a bug report, you, you f try to figure out the bug. And they keep coming out with all these new things everybody's excited about, new nether. But, honestly, I don't care about new features if the bugs aren't fixed. I'd rather see the resources of Mojang into fixing the bugs so that the game is playable instead of adding more stuff because when you add more new uh, features in and there's bugs that's more variables and you're not solving the problem it's like building a beautiful skyscraper but your foundation you don't have earthquake um, uh, you know rebar under it and and it's not the foundation has cracks but you're just going to keep Put, furnishing it's like what rearranging deck chairs on the titanic and then the whole thing crashes fix the bugs please i love this game i've been playing it for almost five years now but i want my bugs fixed uh anyway here's to the speaking of which big stickler okay so you know we all get attached to our minecraft pets um uh, and apparently none of them can be controlled it's called lost ownership of tamed animals and i mean i tried everything i tried feeding them i tried everything and they just don't won't work so what I did was this is why I have two raid the service dogs so I went and got tamed another one and I see I can have control of him up down up down up down I'm happy I can be controlled by you um, and in my original raid the service dog who was the first video game celebrity dog in real life uh, um, at E3 uh, was uh, died last June oh. And he was my first service dog. I have a new one now. Um, and, and, you know, so this is kind of important to me. The, also, my friend Lou, who moved back to Tennessee, one of my best friends, he named this cat. This was his original cat that passed away. And so these these pets in Minecraft kind of are very valuable to us they they're attached with memories and it's just really sad i can't control them but i probably with, with all my animals i'll have to go and actually kill them tame new ones respawn the dogs are easier the cats are hard because there's 16 variants of color so to get the right color cat it's going to take it takes forever to tame the cat so that's a real pain and i don't know if because i lost ownership control if they're going to protect creepers from from um destroying my beautiful house you know that i definitely don't want to rebuild in survival with all the colored concrete and quartz that took forever so um yeah that's a big issue for me so um i may leave the two rays use this one as a companion and leave that one almost like the ghost of my real dog that died um and you know maybe i don't know put his go move no i can't move him i wonder if i got a lead and could i actually move him put him in the graveyard or something i don't know i'll leave him there anyway moving on um sorry guys but we're gonna move on to the other terrible bugs in the game so we're gonna go let's see which way do i want to go this way my house is so big one of many you know, I love doing big projects. I mean, while I'm doing them, you're like, why am I doing this in survival? But after it's over, it's like, wow, I just built this huge thing in survival. And these doors should be closed. Okay, so... Um, I used to have a bunch of chests here, and it just really lagged the game. So I got rid of the chests, but then I had all these spaces for chests. So I'm like, what am I going to put there? And I'm like, you know what? I'll put potted plants. That'll look nice and have all the different, you know, have the different little um, decorations that I can show off. So here I had one of every plant. And, of course, this is going to have to be revised because we're going to have new things in Bedrock when I eventually play. So over here, um, every potted bamboo, all the other plants are fine. The potted bamboos are gone, which is one reason I have Mr. Handyman who has da -da 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 -da, bamboo. Yay. So I'm going to put the bamboo back. And this is a pain because that means, um, you know, I have to have extra purple dye when I when I go um, into bedrocks. I'm going to have to re-dye all those. I'm going to have to mark which uh, shulker boxes, which w were purple so I can remember them. I'm going to have to um, make name tags for extra name tags. So I need more XP so I can rename all, get pets, tame pets and rename them. And I'm going to have to redo the bamboo. I mean, and remember which potted plants which places had bamboo in them let's see can i control you guys 
Yeah, and it was weird because the dogs, the two dogs I can control are over um, where, I, where um, we're going to what I call Ice Falls in my world. I like the name sections of my world. Uh, and I had just, any dog I, and I tame in this Bedrock Edition uh, works fine. Okay, can I control you? And then um, what I was saying is, yeah, actually one dog died and um, he just, he fell when I was building the polar, giant polar bear. You'll see he fell and he drowned in the water, which I now built a, a safe road with a wall so he can't fall off the road anymore. And he showed up in my, um, in my winter cabin alive. It was the weirdest thing. And so I made it among my other dog and they had a baby and that one's fine. So can I um can I go nope frisky can't be controlled and here's Jake that's my real life service dog neither one of those can be controlled and I mean you know how hard it is to find that cat that's a kind of a rare one um at least for me that one never spawns I always get the ugly like dirty white looking ones but uh yeah that's very upsetting so um t until they fix this oh yeah oh you know I forgot another bug too I don't know if you want to call bug just an annoyance um so here we are with the horses like so i built this um you know horses can't come through a single um fence gate and i don't want to put a door here because you, then you can't see the dioramas i'm building so um yeah all the horses jump up here i don't know if they get out they kind of just stand there but it just looks so stupid i don't want horses standing there so i'm gonna have to redesign this that's another annoyance oh yeah you can see some of my dioramas that i'm building um, yeah, it's, this is, this is another one of those 500 block horse roads. What was I thinking projects that, and this is just to mark which one. So I don't duplicate a diorama because I have so many, but anyway, yeah, that's another annoyance. Um, let me look at my list. Okay. Bamboo, the shulkers, um, the cats and dogs, um, the mine cart, um, yeah, the speed and, and also they downgraded the speed. Uh, oh, the campfire. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to go outside to the, actually we can do it in the house. Um, I don't need to go outside. So it requires us to go back up this way. Do we go this way before? If we not, it's, you know what? Yeah, we can go this way. For those of you who haven't seen the house, you can see these different parts of the house. So we're going to go, yeah, down and out this way and around to the dining room. So, yeah, we're going to go this way. I'm going to go this way. It's a big house. <laughs> oh, yeah. And, oh, yeah. And down here is the conduit. Let's go in here, and you can see that the conduit itself was working. This was the one where I was above it with the glass. See right there? You can see where the uh, red sand is, and the conduit works fine. But, yeah, because that glass is there, that water won't activate with the conduit power. It's so ridiculous. Okay, so here's another really big annoyance. So there's two types of, of campfires. Let me just show you the comparison. So this is the one that's just a single campfire and it smokes and that's fine. And I love the campfires, but I you can cook on them. You can obviously take them camping. You don't need fuel. But, um, oh yeah, and I love this too, since we're here. Yeah, my little pizza ovens. Um, but I really um, wanted some of these where I can just display the food and I don't want the smoke. And you do this by drowning the first campfire and then putting one that's uh, lit underneath like see we can break this you can see it see here's the lit one and it's not supposed to smoke and of course it's smoking so again that's just an annoyance it's this is supposed to be a display it looks nice and I just don't like the smoke they should have two versions of campfires ones that like kind of like are lower and don't smoke as much and ones that smoke so anyway that's another one, thing I don't like uh, that should be fixed on um, uh, double display campfires no conduit power uh, Oh, yeah. And then uh, no option to not overwrite the world edges. So uh, when I go to the end of the world and I'm not I'm in the middle of the world, so I'm not going to go to the end now. But yeah, I what happens is with my road, this is why I had to actually measure and redo my entire road that wrapped around my world because it just ate my road. It ate. Um, uh, oh, which speaking of, OK, well, we'll talk about that while we travel real quick. And you can see it actually. Yeah. It, and it also ate so, uh, two houses in my world one that i've actually had to re remove block by block the other one i haven't done yet because it's such a pain i love building new things i don't like redoing things i've already done it kind of defeats the purpose so let's go take a little trip is it dark out um no it's not good i was gonna sleep in a bed because obviously the house is gone so there's no bed there okay so we're gonna take a little road trip and you can see that house 
But yeah, it, it really messed me up with not being able to overwrite the world edges. You like my kind of bad American flag? I don't know. It's my own flag. It's a flag of my world, I guess. Uh, so I want to make sure I get on the right rail line here. So yeah, it ate one of my rail um, rail lines in the middle of my world. It just didn't load that chunk, so I had to move the entire railroad over. And you know, like I think, like I moved it like 40 blocks over to be safe. And and that was really annoying because I wanted the railroad to go straight. And look at how slow it is too. The downgrade of the speed is horrible. Okay, so it's, so it's going to take us forever to go there. So um, let me see if. Uh, yeah, so the, the overriding world edges was one thing. I just measured and I found that uh, 2545 two, um, two, is like the perfect uh, build limit. If you build anything out of that, you know, the, the large size goes to, what, 256, um, I think, is it 2559? So 2545 was that absolute one. Yes, it's going to take us forever. Here we go. So yeah, see, there's supposed to be um, spruce slabs on either side. So why it ate the slabs on either side but kept the uh, cobblestone is beyond my wildest imagination. If it didn't load the chunk, it shouldn't have loaded the entire chunk like it did the other section of Interior Railroad. So I don't know why it did this. And it was there. I mean, I've gone back and double-checked that everything was there. I thought it was my imagination. And yeah, here we are. We finally arrived forever by the way I'm building my own little custom ice biome right here with some blue ice I thought that looks really beautiful but it takes forever with the blast so yes yeah, so let's jump down here so yes there was a nice like swamp house here and the reason I wanted a swamp house here is because of the um, ice farm over here so I had a place to sleep when I went and like mined it I always try to build a house where I'm building every house serves a purpose in survival unlike you know my super flat creative where I just build like giant cities and neighborhoods for the fun of it um, in survival, every house is either near a mine or it's near, you know, something just scenic or like, or it's a fishing spot. It's something that serves a purpose in survival. And, uh, this one's completely gone. So it kept, um, the course display. It kept my little, um, you know, pond here. Uh, this is one fence because there was a fence around it. Yeah, and I kept my little outdoor sitting area, and that's it. And it ate the stairs, of course, so it would be difficult to get back up to the railway. So, yeah, and it ate that, and it ate all the spruce off the railway. So, yeah, crazy. So I t what I have to do is take screenshots. I take screenshots of this. I use the position up on the top left that Bedrock um, has so I can mark the coordinates. And then I take screenshots also on my phone, and I just move everything block by block and legacy and reload it and check it again so yeah a lot of beta testing just to be able to put it in um, bedrock uh, which is yeah so if people are starting in bedrock I mean yeah it's great you don't have to worry about this but yeah five-year-old world there's just so much work um I'm looking at anything else uh, characters skins failed to load um, air with Microsoft and yeah and the house is gone so that that was it oh and there is a, um, a pig under one of them I built this really beautiful modern house and there's like a pig that's literally its heads under my house and I don't know why I don't know if that's something that maybe when I built it there was a cave under in that part that somehow it poked through I don't know what I did the pig fell in there maybe so I'm not going to count that as an official bug but I don't know that's actually kind of cool I'm going to keep it but to the house is way too far away to my road is finished to um go there so anyway that's it um and i hope you enjoyed that and gives you a heads up of what to look out for um definitely definitely if you haven't gone the bedrock yet in the legacy edition um you know take screenshots write notes to yourself um and test it especially if you have a big world because on a really big world like this especially in survival it's hard to sometimes get from point a to point b there might be months before you actually go to a section and you don't want to get there and be so surprised that things are gone I mean do it first fix it you know note it so you remember what's there I mean all kinds of things uh like I've messed up and I really really if I hadn't like you know been really observant and made notes I would have never known and again it's all our hard work so isn't this so pretty
and I love the blue it glows so this is just just such a pretty little area so I'm doing some as like blue ice and then some is kind of packed ice because blue ice is very expensive um, oh yeah here another bug okay so yes um, I did not build this around the cow the cow absolutely was not there so yeah I, I've seen this a lot too in in um, in, in uh, bedrock I forgot to mention this so what's this um, bug number like 13 yeah the unlucky 13 <laughs> the unlucky cow yeah okay you know what you're cool i'm gonna leave you there having said that phoenix genesis see you in the next video like and subscribe please bye